Stevens. We went to high school together. I'm starting a new series on the show called NKHS, Class of 82, Where Are You Now? Brian's right here with me, so I know where he's at <laughs> for like five minutes until, he, until the phones start ringing. He has become a successful businessman, and we're going to find out what's been going on for the last, what, 30 years, I guess? Yeah. Been 30 years? It has been. Oh my gosh, 30 years since uh, we've seen each other, really. So it's kind of like two old friends talking, so if we get kind of off track, just don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, how are you? I'm good. Good, 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 good. So, how has life changed? Well, oh my gosh, it's changed a bunch. It's, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. Everybody always told me, especially my parents, always told me, you know, enjoy high school while you're in mm -hmm. it until you get to the real world. And and uh, I certainly understand what they're talking about now. It, the, the real world's different than high school. It is. Um, Absolutely. But it's, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't change it for anything. Good, good, good. Now, didn't you uh, get married and have kids? And I did. I married uh, my what was high her school name? girlfriend, Doreen Davis. Doreen Davis. Yep. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't remember her first name, and so. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yep. Yeah, Doreen yeah. and I uh, married. We've been married since 1985. And, wow. Uh, we've got uh, three kids. Yeah. Got twin sons, Jeremy and Joshua. They're, they're actually going to be 20, oh, let's oh, see, 28 this, this year, and my yeah. daughter... Bailey uh -huh. is going to be uh, 25 this year. Wow. So it's, uh, oh, man. Yeah. I'll tell you, there's <laughs> you a lot of money. That <laughs> that's, that's what I always tell everybody. Next thing you know, my hair is going to start turning gray. There you go. There you go. So was there like a certain teacher or classmate or somebody who kind of steered you toward being business? Or what? how did you end up here? No, you know, I... I um, I'm not really sure exactly how I ended up here. It's just one of those things that happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as a teacher or a classmate, um, I can't I can't really pick one out more than the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, all the classmates, all my friends in high school, mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of them that I ran around with, and we still stay in, in touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, um, so they, they've all been a, a contributing force, I guess, to, yeah. to where I'm at. Uh, teachers... Um, they all, uh, I'm sure they were all really glad <laughs> for say, me to there move goes on. Yeah, you know, <laughs> get him the heck out of mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I contribute contribute that to to all of them. Oh, wonderful, Everybody. wonderful. That so so there wasn't just one certain one that had a bigger impact or anything like that. Um, no, no, you know, not really. I I will have to say, uh, uh, Brian Sissel, um, we've been best friends forever. I was and, gonna, uh, yeah. I mean, he, uh, where you saw one Brian, you saw the other Brian. That's, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he, uh, he lives down in, in um, Georgia now, Thomasville, oh, Georgia. Yeah. And uh, he has his own business uh, servicing and calibrating laboratory balances and small scales. Wow. He got me started into that business. Mm -hmm. I did the same thing up here for several years. For oh, I didn't know years. that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I, I, you know, I will have to say, you know, hats off to him because he, mm -hmm. he gave me a, a leg up. I trained with him and. and Learn wow. from him, and, and uh, so it. But it, it's been uh, it's been good. I wouldn't change it. Wonderful. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> no, no regrets. Nice. So you know, everybody has a defining moment in their life when it's like Dr. Phil's. You know, you're at the crossroads. And was there any defining moment in your life that said, "Hey, you know, I really need to go this way instead of that way," or you know, yeah, yeah, there definitely was. Um, I was driven. Um, my thoughts and ambitions, I wanted to be very wealthy and mm -hmm. have all the toys and do all the things oh, yeah, that yeah. everybody always kind of dreams of. Mm -hmm. um, and that all changed in uh, uh, September 1989, or I'm sorry, 1998. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter, who was born in 89, she was eight years old. She was diagnosed with a germinal brain tumor. Oh my! And when that happened, um, mm -hmm. money didn't mean anything anymore. Yeah. Um, if you don't have your health and your family, um, exactly, you don't have much. That's true. And so I will definitely have to say that was a defining moment. Um, mm -hmm. That kind of changed my perspectives. 
Not that I don't want all the toys and all the wealth. And, I'm and sure. I, I can still, I'm sure you still got I still few. play the Powerball. Okay, well, so go. I'm Give still looking for that. Numbers, okay. yeah. But we'll uh, split it. yeah, but that that was definitely it. it changed changed my perspective. Mm -hmm. Wow, and obviously she's better now. And, oh, she's and doing, happy, healthy, and she's doing great. Yeah. Um, I've got a picture of her up here on my on my yeah. shelf. She. Yeah. Uh, uh, has her own business. It's actually located in the back of my building here. Uh, yeah. She's a dog groomer. She has dog wow. grooming and dog grooming. Yeah. yeah. And has been doing that since 2009, I believe. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing that for five or six years. Well, there you go. The apple yeah. doesn't fall far from the tree, right? Well, she, she does well. I, I, I like to take uh, yeah. all credit for it, but I think it's probably oh, come on, my Dad. wife and, we and know. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how's your boys? I mean, or what are they doing? They're actually, they're both linemen for Duke Energy. Wow, um, nice. They, uh, yeah, they're, they're very successful. They've uh, uh, got a good life. Uh -huh. One of them is married. Yeah, are um, you grandpa yet? I'm not. I, I have, I'm it. trying and I'm putting a plea out here publicly. You know, I'm, I'm Come ready. on, boys. I'm ready for that. Um, Brian needs somebody to play with on Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would be okay with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. But, uh, but nice. that's okay. They're not ready yet, so we'll, yeah. we'll wait. Okay. And I'm sure they'll give you a ton. Yep. And you'll be saying, okay, now that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa didn't have any more quarters to give you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is wild. So the profession you're in right now, insurance, mm -hmm. um, was it something, well, I guess we kind of touched on that earlier, something that you dreamed about doing or you or was there something else you really wanted to do besides, you know, being Donald Trump Jr.? <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, no, I, you know, I can honestly say, looking back, I really didn't know for sure what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a tough decision. Um, I've learned since then that, you know, you got to do something you enjoy. Right. Um, and that, that, that makes the world go around. Um, I like working with people. Yeah, and, well, you're good at it. Um, to me, this is, I know it's a sales job and I'm selling things, <laughs> and not everybody likes to go to their insurance man or hear, hear from their insurance man. Yeah. But the way I look at it is I'm helping those people, I'm mm -hmm. protecting them mm -hmm. from, from unforeseen things that happen. We and like them when we have car accidents. Yes. <laughs> we get them yes. out of bed and say, Brian, <laughs> I need you. So I, I uh, you know, I, that's what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm kind of giving back in a small way. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I said, I'm sure you're good at it. Or you, how long have you been doing this job? Uh, I mean, since uh, this two, 2009. 2009. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. And it was like when I was, you know, finding, trying to find everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I thought about calling Julie Eisenhut because she has everybody's phone number. She does. <laughs> and I couldn't, and I could, I kept getting a voicemail. And it's like, call me back, Julie. Call me back, Julie. Call me back, Julie. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, so then I was, you know, on Facebook and, and it's like, Brian Stevens. I'm like, wow, cool. So. Well, thank yeah, you. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, and Julie just lives down the road from me. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's funny. Um, you know, we, I still see the main ones. I don't see everybody that mm -hmm. went to school with, but mm -hmm. the main ones I, I kind of ran around with, I yeah. still see them, still stay yeah. in touch with them. And, nice. and uh, now they've all aged a lot more than what I have. <laughs> of so course. They're, they're all a lot older than me. But, uh, uh, well, you look good. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you, thank you. You look like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> So, how has um, your wife changed your perspective on life? Oh, she's she... giving me direction. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you like uh, when you have the last word, yes, dear? Is that <laughs> it? <laughs> well, you know, I always tell everybody, you know, you just got to put your foot down and, and, and say what you want and, and ask exactly how high you, she wants you to jump. But, uh, exactly. No, exactly. She, Doreen has, uh, she has been a, a blessing to me. Um, well, I, her, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, wasn't she a grade behind us? Uh, she was actually two two years behind us. Two years behind us. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah, I couldn't yep. remember. I knew she was close. She graduated in 84. 84. Yeah. yeah, well, she always seemed nice. And, and it's like, you know, I always wanted to go up and tell her, you better be nice to find. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh, it's so, it's so cool. 
So, and you have three kids, three yep. beautiful kids, and yep. all grown up, and that is just, that is nice. So how has being a parent changed you? Um, well, it's gave me a little more patience. <laughs> Maybe not as much as I should have had. Um, you know, I, I, we started out, uh, my boys were born in 1986. Mm -hmm. So we graduated in 82. So yeah, I was going to say, that was, that was pretty, we, yeah. Uh, had twin boys and... and you know they they have been uh, they've been they've been good <laughs> they've been all boys good good um, yeah <laughs> they've uh, they've tried my patience a few mm -hmm, times mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. my daughter um, I have to say that she has made up for the difference yeah okay and uh, <laughs> she she's my she's my girl yeah but um, yeah. you know it, it you don't think of it when you're in high school. Mm -mm about having a family you don't. and uh, it just um, it, it makes a difference it really does mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know you have something and, and I don't care how old they get they're, they're still your kids and oh I know you That's, still want to look after them and yep. take care of them and, and yep. uh, well like my nephew Benjamin he just turned 21 oh, wow. and uh, I still see him as a little six-year-old climbing trees and, <laughs> and I used to call him a monkey boy because he'd swing on the tree you know like a monkey <laughs> and uh, I made the sad mistake he, he played football for eastern high school and i made the sad mistake of going into you know right outside the locker room and saying hey monkey boy you know and oh I'm my sure gosh i'm sure he appreciated that yeah he goes, see you ma <laughs> i said what he said, don't call me that here <laughs> yeah that probably didn't go over well um, no and, and and as you know how football guys are oh, yeah. you know they that he hasn't lived that down yet <laughs> so but that's it's just too funny, and, and uh, he come down. To, he lives right down the road from me. Him and my brother, and uh, so he comes down to check on me. You know, he, oh, that's he has good. to. Yeah, he has to. He has, well, he uses the excuse to come down and see the dog and the cats, <laughs> but he's coming down to check on me. You know, he's all to make sure that you know everything's okay. <laughs> and then, like on Sundays, he'll come down and he'll say, "Sissy, have you had any uh, fried chicken done yet?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're fried chicken. I said it's like nine o'clock in the morning. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. hint, hint, hint. Yeah. So guess what I had to fry. So he says, I'll go, I'll go get you chicken. <laughs> said, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So, but uh, yeah, he's he's a hoot. Let me tell you, he's something else. So I just I just don't know what I do without him. As, as you with your kids, you know, yep. and everything. Yep. And uh, so that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yep, I have no regrets. Good. Got a good family. Good life. And, uh, and, and a lot of good friends. Well. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of good friends. Yeah, that makes that makes the world. It does, absolutely, absolutely. And and it's good that you know you stay close to home and and you know. Yeah, you know yeah. I've worked in some larger cities. Um, oh, uh huh. Help Ryan Sissel. We worked yeah. in Atlanta and some of the you know, oh, big wow. city areas. Worked in Chicago. Um, well, that'd be scary to me. Those places are okay to visit. Which one There's was there? Nothing like. The big town of Bruceville. <laughs> no. <laughs> As I was coming down here from, from Bloomington, I come through, you know, past the turn to go to the high school, and I thought, uh, I started to go that way, and I thought, no, I gotta go straight, I gotta go straight, <laughs> you know. And going through, you know, Big Mill, I, I forgot that, you know, there was a McDonald's there. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, big wow. changes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, going through Bruceville, you know, it's like you, you saw the, the baseball field right there on the highway, yep. you know. Well, Yep. Where you guys play baseball and and yeah, yeah. We had I've had um, had customers ask me you know where are you where are you from? Mm -hmm. I said the capital of Indiana. Said, <laughs> from Indianapolis? I said no, yeah, Bristol. Bristol, yeah. absolutely. Well, I'm going to start something new with you today, my friend. Okay. <laughs> As he goes, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you these ten questions that uh, James Lipton gives. You know all the famous. Famous actors. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it won't hurt, I promise. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite word? Favorite word? Mm -hmm. um, oh, gosh. Just oh, gosh is your favorite word? <laughs> no, well, it could be sometimes. I'm going to say my favorite word is no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. What's your least favorite word? Can't. What turned you on? Uh, my family. 
what turns you off? People that want something for nothing. Good answer. What sound do you love? Uh, I guess the outdoors, the birds, and the, just the outdoors. What sound do you hate? Uh, all the cars and honking, <laughs> the big city life. And once again, what profession other than this one would you like to attend? Um, I would love to be a pilot. Ooh, so would my nephew Benjamin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What profession would you not like to do? Um, I don't think I could do health care. Okay. I just don't, I mean, not that I wouldn't want to help people. I mm -hmm. just don't think I could physically do. <laughs> do what they did, yeah. 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 I mean, my hat's I, off to people that, that do that. Yeah, I had worked on an ambulance for a while, you know, lifting the people and uh, that killed me. Well, I, I, um, I was in the hospital in Wishard Burn Center, mm -hmm. and uh, my hat's off to those people that mm -hmm. that do that because I don't know how they do that day in and day out help those people. And it's, without them, I don't yeah. know. I mean, I don't know where I would be. Yeah, them. yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a calling. Yep. Yeah, it's yep. a calling. I mean, they, they would do it for nothing. Yep. Yep. All righty, here's the big one. Okay. <laughs> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you get? Well, I hope I make it to the pearly gates, but I want to correct you that heaven does exist. And um, I would like for him to say, your seat's right up here. Hot dog. All right. There you have it, the 10 big questions. Brian did well. You did well, my friend. You did <laughs> well, you. well. I appreciate your five minutes and all the answers and, and just see. Yeah. Well, it's good to see, see you. Back. I know. It's been, know. we said 30 years. It's actually been a little longer than 32. But, oh, uh, that's I'm right. trying to do the math in my head since yeah. I've been sitting yeah. here. Yeah, 32. But, uh, uh, it's been a long, <laughs> long, long time. It has. Well, we'll have to do this again sometime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, kids. Well, there's the first installment. That's going to do it for the show this week. And we will be back next time with, not with Brian, but with Brian. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye. See you. Thank you.